Hey guys, this is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Welcome back. We have a quick question uh, uh, from one of our friends named Wolfie, and he is asking, why is my um, data entry form not working correctly? So we'll jump right in, click on the button. Basically, you type in a number, uh, product ID number, and then a quantity here. It's very typical. You select an item, you put something here, you put something there, and you click the insert button. And he wants it to go on this other sheet, so I'll show you that. What he, what his complaint is is that it is all showing up here. So uh, essentially, both of these. Let me click on close. Both the pr uh, product entry form and I don't speak that language, but whatever the other entry form is, um, three two one six five four. If I click this button, they're both appearing on the front page, which he'd rather this be. Um, like a front page, uh, which you know the data sheet here is actually kind of going to be hidden. He'd like for the data entry to occur on these three lines. So we're just going to review his code and take a look at that really quickly. Alt F11, as you know, and we'll dive right in. So here's the menu form. Uh, this one opens the one form, and this one opens the other. This is the one we'll concentrate on for right now. So the uh, Prudetti, so that's here's the data entry form that we did a moment ago. So whenever the, you click on the, excuse me, I better slow down. Uh, this is the form that we're concentrating on. Whenever you click on the insert button here, we need to concentrate on the next row that we're gathering. We don't really want it to zoom up to A1 and then get the next row, which is A2. We want it to go to the other page and do that whole next row jive. So here's his code. Uh, we're grabbing the worksheet as WS here, and this is the worksheet that we, we're telling it to go to. So essentially, that's the main kicker, is you actually want this worksheet name to be the name of the worksheet that you're telling it to go to. Not the Pagrin, uh, Pagrindini's, but the uh, whatever that is. Uh, I'm not even going to try it. Anyway, I double-clicked this one here, and uh, co Control-C to copy. So if we go to Alt F11, we're just going to kind of change the worksheet that we're dealing with. And uh, I don't I don't think it's copying correctly. We'll see if that even works. Let me hit F8 here. Uh, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. And hit this. Let's see if it recognizes these characters. Because I noticed a question mark showed up. And in the actual sheet, yeah, it doesn't acknowledge that. So let's do a workaround, okay? So we see here that the sheet uh, or whatever, sorry, we noticed that that says sheet 11. So we could uh, give the sheet an actual like different name or we could just use sheet 11 as long as you're not going to delete it and then get a new sheet that's also sheet 11 because then it won't work. Let's just work with that. So set WX equals and we'll just say sheet 11. Let me just comment this out. Sheet 11. Um, comment that out. So now WS is sheet 11, which we are co uh, have a comment that says it's actually this sheet. So the next row on that sheet would be 8. Now let's uh, let's go to here. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and close this for a second. Let's do it on this sheet here and see if the next row is still saying 8 in a moment. So I'll click here, click open the product entry sheet 321654 and I'm going to click this. Now we still put a, a stop marker there so we'll, we'll be fine. F8 to debug. So WS is equal to sheet 11, the object which is the other sheet here. And then WSNR, yes, it's picking up that the next row on that sheet is row 8, even though on the current sheet the next row would probably be 2 forever if we didn't keep putting more records in. So anyway, uh, the next row of 8, column 3 on the appropriate worksheet now. So it all comes from what sheet you're, you're telling it you want to work with. So now it should plug all this good stuff into WS, which has a different value. So now if we go ahead and close the user form and whatnot, if we look over here, we see, hmm, so these things might not be formatted in the correct column, but um, the ID should be in column one. Uh, the number, 
should probably be here and then the item should be in column two so that would need to be tweaked I mean you go back here and you just tell it the I don't speak this language once again but the item number would be um, column two let's say this was it I don't know anyway so you just get the correct column numbers on the other sheet but that is how you would plant it in the other sheet instead of in the uh, main sheet and then once you get that right um, oh I think this number was actually there before this is a sum if we just overwrote the word sum if right here anyway so assuming that these were uh, right here let me just slap these in the there we go assuming these were in the right spot and this still says sum if uh, to reveal that um, we can even hide this which is what his goal was so we could hide the other sheet and now we can be doing our data entry on the other sheet oops let me take that and just hit play same item number but then we have also 120 items then we have 651 items so if we close this down and unhide we'll see that we just did some data entry on the other sheet yeah here it was okay so that's pretty much all you just need to um, set the correct worksheet up and I hope this helps somebody if you have any questions uh, feel free to contact me on the YouTube uh, comment section be sure and click like and subscribe and uh, check out the ultimate Excel programmer course available now on udemy.com if you'll uh, if you need to contact me for consulting or just to say, hey, how are you doing or whatever, just go to excelvbaisfun.com and click on the contact form and I'll be happy to hear from you. All right. Have a blessed day, everybody. Thanks. Bye.